started as a school project to address a community problem. And while living on Guam, 7th graders James Cook, Joseph Connolly, Tanner Geisinger, and Jacob Augelli observed the island struggled with recurring power outages. Using recycled materials like an old motor, copper wires, and milk cartons, the boys created a hydroelectric generator. We um, thought that it could especially benefit the community of Guam because it creates electricity from water power so like when you're washing your dishes you can charge a small little chip that can provide power to like an iPhone and here we suffer a lot of power outages so we thought that this could like help people have power when there's no other power. Their project covers each aspect of STEM curriculum. For science, they use Faraday's and Ohm's laws relative to moving metal through a magnetic field to create electricity and measuring electricity. And then for technology, we came up with the, uh, well, we didn't come up with the technology of uh, hydroelectricity, but we based it off the design that many um, dams use and the ancient water wheel. And then we used different engineering methods to do this, like we put a sink connector, um, we, made our, we made our own sink connector, we made our um, own water guard to keep water from going into the electrical functions of our machine. And then um, we used mathematics to calculate uh, how much it could help the community. As part of the Army-sponsored e-cyber mission, they are gearing up to represent Guam in D.C. next month. And what it is, is it's a program that allows young students like ourselves from grades 6 through 9 um, compete. And you can either design your own original product, like what we did, or you can use sci the scientific method of inquiry to find out more about different things in the environment and the world. I'm pretty excited. It's my first time for going to a contest to the to DC. 